Well, I think one of the fundamental misperceptions that many people have is that a field station is a cabin in the woods and that there's not much here. And I think people are, are struck, in, in fact, quite surprised when they show up here and see the extensive facilities that we have here and the support that we provide for both students and researchers when they come up. If somebody came to me today and said, hey, it's time to set up a biology station, where would you set it up? A place like where Queen's Biology Station is situated is exactly where I would put it. It's surrounded by diverse landscapes. We've got access to wetlands, to freshwater lakes, to rivers, uh, to pasture environments, to, uh, to forest and, and more. It's all right on Queen's Biology Station's doorstep. And then you add to that that it's adjacent to resources uh, and infrastructure like lab spaces and aviaries and things like that, that it, it makes it definitely a globally unique resource. Queen's Biology Station really is, is a, a hub for our research. It's where uh, our field programs in Eastern Ontario are based out of. It provides a, a safe uh, working environment for our students. While you can collect data and stuff in a lab, it's very different seeing animals interacting in their natural environment because that's just a whole different set of data that you can't get if you're working in an artificial environment. The most important thing about the biology station for my research is that longevity, the fact that you know you can come back year after year and study the same population and build these incredible long-term data sets. But the biology station experience where you're um, living and working alongside researchers who are studying beetles or bats or dragonflies, it's really a different and richer experience for students because they're talking over meals with people who are doing very different things. At Gibbs, I think it's a great opportunity as well to interact with lots of different universities and as well as lots of different um, research teams. So it not only helps uh, get a broader picture of what's going on in terms of research in other universities, but it's also good to get some new ideas based on what people are doing as well. I really like the interdisciplinary environment here. There are like people doing research in different areas and because of that I can learn new things every day and that's really great. The fact that there's a big research community here really keeps me engaged with my field. I come here and I, I get to interact with people that do cutting edge research on, on various aspects of, of environmental science, ecology, evolution. It's, uh, it's a very dynamic and uh, motivating place to work. And oftentimes there's similar questions and so there's opportunity to exchange information and, and look for what's different, what's the same between these different systems and get a better understanding of how the world works. So one of the things we want to make sure of is that CUBES is relevant to a whole range of ages. So we actually have a, a separate campus called Elbow Lake Environmental Education Center where we bring classes out to experience nature and to undertake projects relevant to their curriculum. Usually after a long day of working outside and working on our own research, we all get together at the dining hall for dinner together and then later in the day we all meet up with our friends and we'll either have a bonfire or we'll go swimming by the docks. It's been an incredible opportunity to work with other people who share my passion for conservation and the environment and to be exposed to research projects that I might never have otherwise been exposed to. I have seen uh, changes in career paths. I have seen changes in, in viewpoints. I have seen transformations in the way that young people think about their own abilities. My vision for, for CUBES is to have it as one of the most important places for young people to come to learn about the natural world, to learn about the environmental sciences in the broadest sense of the world, to understand the scientific process, and to ultimately, based on their training here, have maximum impact in the future.